Yeah. Hey, let's hear it for the laziest in studio audience ever. So quiet. So quiet. So early. Welcome, Scott. Well, it's great to be back. That's the. <laughs> It is. It's great to be back. More Facebook stalkers. I'm excited to be back on the show. It's radical, man. It's Listen, pretty exciting. This guy's an actual scientist. He yep. like he teaches and he and he creates things in his lab. And it's just mm -hmm. he's like the real deal. Everybody, make sure you stalk him on Facebook. Please, you know, find please, out where he please, teaches. Please stop. Or please stop. one of his lectures and be like, Dr. Scott, this is your baby, Scott. <laughs> Well, how did you know about that? Oh, that's cool. So listen, dude, I do have a question about yeah. tonight's movie, okay? In it, Hercules needs to find, like, the stone of forgetfulness, right. okay? In reality, are there any types of minerals that could actually make you lose your memory? Uh, so the answer is actually yes. Huh. Uh, so there's recent research that suggests... Is this the GHB stuff? No, it's not. This is <laughs> maybe a little bit. But, no, this is actually recent research that suggests if you have too much or too little zinc in your brain, you're predisposed to getting Alzheimer's disease. Huh. So actually, some doctors have started to tell their patients, have one or two oysters a week because oysters have a lot of zinc. Here's the problem with that product. Is that, code that or something? It, it's not. That's what, actually, that Give would, be, half that would also zinc. help. But the problem with that is that so so oysters have a lot of zinc that's true but they also eat something called diatoms that's the first picture we'll show you so diatoms are a little algae that like to accumulate this poison Ooh, called algae. demoic acid the problem with Ooh, demoic acid is if you get too much demoic acid in your brain it kills the part of your brain necessary for memory so if you have a bad oyster 